guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sandra and I'm a nurse practitioner. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to wrap a knee with an elastic bandage. So there are many reasons to wear an elastic bandage on your knee. Some people use it as preventative during sports or biking. A lot of people use them during running to help stabilize the IT band. Other people use it after an injury, such as a sprain or a strain to help with pain and swelling. And some people also use it for chronic issues such as osteoarthritis. So for whatever reason you or your patient is using an elastic bandage on your knee, I'm going to show you an effective way to put it on that will help lessen the chances of it sliding down throughout the day with movement or any activity. So this is a four inch ACE wrap, but you can even go up to a six inch ACE wrap and it provides a lot of coverage and support to the knee, especially if you or your patient has a larger knee or there's a lot of swelling in the knee. So this elastic bandage has the Velcro and I really like the Velcro ones because they're very easy to secure. You don't need tape or any clips. Okay, so the knee should be fairly relaxed. You can have a slight bend in the knee and that way you know that it's being applied in a comfortable position. So you're going to start below the knee and you always want to apply the bandage from below the knee and work your way up because if there is any swelling, that will help push fluid back up into circulation towards the heart. If you start up here and work your way down, then any swelling going on in here will be pushed down into the calf. So you don't want to do that. So you're going to start below the knee and this one is nice because it does have the Velcro to help secure that first wrap. So you're applying about 50% tension, which means if the elastic bandage was pulled to 100%, which is its full capacity, you're only applying about 50% tension. And so you're going to do that initial first wrap around. And then what you're going to start doing is weaving upwards. Wrap it around. And then you're going to go back down. And so you're getting this nice crisscross. And try to smooth out any wrinkles as you go. And then you're going to come back up again. And I'm overlapping the bandage about 50% as well. So this is overlapping this section about 50%. So we're going up and then around the back and back down again. And then we're going up and around and you can secure that bandage behind. And it's this crisscross that's going to help hold the bandage in place. If you just take the bandage and you go around in a coil, eventually that bandage is just going to slip right down because there's nothing to anchor it in place. And so if you do this figure eight or crisscross method, the bandage is gonna stay in place a lot longer. And so that feels really comfortable on my knee. I can still move it and it feels very snug and supported. And so after you apply the bandage, you always want to check below on your patients or yourself. Make sure your skin is still nice and warm. There's no discoloration, numbness, or tingling, which means there's too much compression on the blood vessels and it is affecting circulation. And so if that was the case, you'd want to take the bandage off completely and rewrap it more loosely. And any elastic bandage should be removed at night before you go to sleep. So some people like to leave a gap over the kneecap if you're doing an activity such as biking or playing basketball because that will allow even more mobility to the joint without the bandage slipping up or down. There are a lot of structures in the knee, such as ligaments, the meniscus. So if you go to the ER or an urgent care for your knee injury, they are usually gonna give you a knee immobilizer over top of this, as well as crutches, so that your knee is well protected and immobilized. 
and then you usually follow up with orthopedic surgery. All right, you guys, so I hope you like this knee wrap video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you get all my new videos as soon as they go out. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.